All right, guys. For this short video, I decided uh, to change things up a little bit when looking at these sections. For this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the first problem on our list of four, and that is uh, the problem with food shortages. So we're going to look at uh, what caused these food shortages and then eventually what was their solution to combating uh, the food shortages. Afterwards, you'll be, uh, as you watch this video, be sure to uh, answer some questions and make sure that uh, if you have any questions to let me know. All right, let's begin. All right, so first off, our uh, video starts off in what is known as the Zagros Mountains, and the Zagros foothills are found within the Fertile Crescent. So this is uh, this area in green is what we call the Zagros Mountains. Down below, you see this is where Mesopotamia, Sumer, the Fertile Crescent are found. So it's found within, almost on that border fringe. Now, this area, unlike uh, the terrain we read about yesterday, was very good for farming. As you can see in the picture below, very green. You got some pretty big farm, farm fields here. And there were two factors that uh, contributed to this area being good for farming. One was the mild weather. It wasn't too hot or wasn't too cold. And it got plentiful rains, which makes it ideal for farming because then they would not have to worry about being able to water their crops or not having enough water for their crops. And because of those two factors, people, the population of this region just exploded. Uh, it just keep growing and growing and growing. Uh, unfortunately, until it, things were good until they weren't. And that leads us to our problem. So the problem uh, with the food shortages began roughly about 5,000 BCE. And the problem was food began to run out. Because there were so many people living in this one area, they were, uh, there wasn't enough food for the farmers to keep up uh, being able to feed the population. So the people of this area had two choices. They either could stay and risk starving to death, or they could look for a new place to live. Now, uh, they slowly started moving to Southern Mesopotamia because they realized that they had a lot of plains. Remember, plains are flat land that could be suitable for farming. And it was located next to the two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. And keep in mind, the water is the lifeline for all things. Because uh, if you have water, you're able to you're able to grow crops, you're able to get food, fish for food, you're able to get water so you can drink it. Now, the terrain compared to uh, the Zagros foothills is very different, as we've talked about before. And this also eventually leads to another problem, but we'll address that one later. Now, these people moved to the plains. And as we read yesterday, these plains were hot, hard, and very dry. And, and to make things worse, this land also lacked trees, uh, they didn't have stones uh, that they could use to make shelter or they, to even make tools out of, which made it an even harder task to live here. Eventually, this region became known as Sumer, and the people that settled here, they became to be known as Sumerians. Now, there was a lot of high hopes because, as we mentioned earlier, I'll go back a little bit, as we mentioned the other day, northern, uh, the northern part of Mesopotamia gets a lot of the rain, and then those rains eventually flood the Tigris and Euphrates River uh, every year. And that's where their hope was they could uh, use that, that water to uh, water their crops. Uh, so in summation, in summary, we had our problem was there were food shortages in the foothills in northern Mesopotamia. So the solution was to leave the foothills to southern Mesopotamia to grow crops on the plains. Obviously, fast forward. Thousands of years later, we see that they were very successful in what they did. Um, but tomorrow, we'll address the, the other, uh, one of the other problems that we've covered that the uh, early Mesopotamians had to deal with. So make sure you answer the questions up down at the bottom. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, like always, um, make sure you like and subscribe my videos. I'd like to retire by 30. Thank you.